Hello everyone, this is Glenn again of Pinoy Planatics and today I'm going to review these uh, two Kotobukiya kits uh, the Rockman X and uh, Max Armor so I'm a huge fan of uh, the Rockman X series and I'm so glad that uh, Kotobukiya uh, made these kits so dati yung Bandai meron na rin silang uh, plastic model kits ng Rockman X series pero um, sobrang tagal na na discontinue na so without further ado uh, umpisa na nating review na to and let's see if these kits are worth picking up alright So this is the box of the normal X and I believe ginamit ng Kotobukiya yung design ng Mega Man X4, X5, and X6 para sa mga kits na to. And here's the box of the Max Armor. So this is uh, the armor of X from uh, Rockman X3. Very nice details. Okay, so here is the manual of Normal X. I do believe na itong illustration na to from uh, Rockman X5. As you can see, a completed uh, model kit with a buster uh, effect part. So, here's how to build Rockman X, Mega Man X. and some uh, additional footage Rockman X in action and at the back uh, yung mga color separation now I'm going to show you the manual of the max armor from Rockman X3 or Mega Man X3 if you so choose here's some artwork from uh, X3 and some dynamic poses And uh, kung dalaro nyo yung Rockman X3, uh, so yun yung kauna-unahang game na playable si Zero, pero isa lang yung life ni Zero doon. Tsaka side character pa rin siya doon. And if taubos yung life na yun sa playthrough mo, uh, merong magpe-play na scene na kung saan ibibigay ni Zero yung Z-Saber kay uh, X. And you will now be able to use the Z-Saber using X. Kaya included yung Z-Saber dito sa kit na ito. And uh, you can also light up the Z-Saber. But this is uh, sold separately, yung LED. Here's the back, and I think that's all for the manual. And here's the completed model kit of uh, X and his Max Armor. So, okay, so for the detailing first, so I did not uh, apply anything on this kit. So, this is a uh, completely built out of the box. And for the articulation, as you can see, the head can uh, rotate 360. And, uh, you 
can look up and down. So, meron din siyang articulation dito sa body. Forward and back motion, medyo limited. You can see here, and but you can rotate 360. And uh, bicep rotation, meron din. Uh, wrist articulation. No problems at all. And shoulder joints. And as you can see here, you can uh, still move the whole leg down this much. So you can uh, move the whole leg up this much. There's some uh, knee articulation. Very nice. You cannot do the split, very limited, but uh, still good. And here's some uh, foot articulation. For the upper body of uh, Max Armor, uh, as you can see here, almost the same sa regular X. So, bali yung parang pinagkaiba lang niya talaga is the look. Very nice details and uh, articulation. You can rotate 360, as you can see here. And uh, bicep rotation as well. Meron. It's very nice. Uh, elbow joints. And as you can see here, very limited pa rin yung uh, forward and back motion. But uh, wrist articulation, no issue at all. And like the normal X, a lower uh, body, uh, you can pull the whole leg down as well. And forward kick as you can see here. No problems at all. Knee bend. Cannot do the split but uh, still pretty good. And foot articulation. Okay. I have no issues sa regular X pero dito sa Max Armor, as you can see here, madaming parts na madaling matanggal, so you might need to glue that. But one thing that I really like uh, about the Max Armor is the waist area. Isa sa mga example, itong orange part na to, uh, that's painted, that's not a different part. So that's a huge plus. Uh, all in all, still a uh, good looking kit. Uh, it really captures the Max Armor from Rockman X3. So, that's a huge plus already. Then, you can also switch parts from the regular X and Max Armor para ma-replicate mo yung game if you want. Um, kapag hindi pa nakukompleto ni X yung whole armor. So, you can see here. So now I'm going to show you the accessories of both regular X and the Max Armor X. So here's the X Buster Rifle uh, from regular X and uh, Max Armor X. And both kit have different sets of uh, hands like uh, as you can see here on the left and the right. They both included a open hands. As you can see here, uh, they are, uh, also included a buster holding hands, if you will, and the sea saber. And they also included sa max armor nga lang yung sea uh, saber holding hand, both and le left and right yan. Although, yung right uh, Z Saber holding hand, uh, I painted it white para magamit ko kay regular X to replicate the good ending of uh, Rachman X5, if you know what I mean. Okay, both kits have a different sets of faces, 
As you can see here, although meron silang same normal face, then they also have an open mouth with a closed teeth, pero magkaiba pa rin ang expression. So that's a huge plus. I also want to mention sa left side is the regular X and on the right is from the back's armor. And lastly, they also included an open mouth. But uh, they are looking on different angles. Also want to mention that uh, Regular X included this uh, Buster effect part. Sa Max Armor walang ganto. But if you bought the Hyper Cheat mode ng Max Armor or the Golden Armor, uh, may included doon na different looking Buster effect part. Uh, replace the face, you just need to move the head up and grab it on the chin like this. Then you just need to slide the different uh, face expression that you want to put like this. Alright, so that's easy enough. Now same thing sa uh, Max Armor. Uh, move the head up and grab the chin. and slide the face that you want to put. Then push it. So to uh, replace the regular hand with the buster, so you just need to pull out the whole hand, but you're going to need the elbow joint. and uh, put it on the buster and that's it very simple same thing sa max armor That's it. Very nice. Now to replace the hands, you just need to pull out kung ano man yung nakalagay na dun sa kit mo. And uh, replace it with any uh, set of hands you want. And you can now do a lot of dynamic poses with that. And for the C-Saber, uh, you just need to remove yung pinaka-ilalim, like this. Then insert it dun sa hold, uh, Z-Saber holding hand, as you can see here. That's it.
for the height comparison on the left side is the figurized standard uh, Son Goku uh, Super Saiyan and at the back as you can see is the Master Grade as Red Frame para may idea kaya kung gano'ng kalaki ang uh, Kotobo Kia Rachman X series and my favorite uh, Play Art Sky figure uh, Solid Snake from uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty As a Rockman X or Mega Man X fan, I'm very pleased with these kits. They really captures the likeness of X from the game. And one huge plus for me is almost all parts are undergated, so less cleaning habang binubuo nyo tong kits na to. And uh, another one is that uh, almost all parts are in their correct color scheme as well, so less painting to do. Sa regular X, wala talaga. Pero sa Max Armor, may konti kang painting na kailangan gawin sa body and sa Buster Rifle. Pero kahit hindi mo gawin, hindi uh, naman gaanong mapapansin na. And one more thing, yung facial expression. Skala ko, rehash lang yung gagamitin nila from regular X to Max Armor. Pero ang ginawa nila is uh, they gave a different set of uh, facial expression, uh, lalo na yung sa mata, uh, nakatingin sa different angle, and uh, still a huge plus for me. Siguro one thing that I can say negative about these kits is uh, they are a little pricey. Kung i-compare mo siya sa Master Grade Gundam kits, nagre-range si Regular X sa 2,600 to 3,000 pesos. And yung Max Armor, nabili ko siya around 3,600 pesos kasing price niya halos yung uh, Master Grade New Gundam Verka. And this uh, Kotobukiya kits has less parts kung ikukumpara mo doon sa mga master grades na nabanggit ko. If you're not a huge Pegaman X or Rahman X1, maybe you can skip these kits. But uh, if you're a huge Megaman X fan like me, so this is a must buy kit. I'm st uh, still not quite sure kung bibilin ko yung hyper chip mode ng max armor but definitely I'm going to get zero that's no brainer at all and syempre I'm much excited sa fourth armor from Mega Man X4 at syempre uh, hopefully gawan din ni Kotobukiya lahat ng armor ni X from X1 to X8 and definitely, I'm looking forward for the Ultimate Armor and Black Zero. And maybe someday Axel as well. Okay, uh, I think that's all for me. Thank you guys again for watching. This is Glenn of Pinoy Planatics. And uh, watch out for my next review. And uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. And uh, please also like my Facebook page. So thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video review. Bye guys.